Hey, it's Cart from CQB Radio. I've got another review for you today. We're looking at the Condor Sling Pack. I got this from my friends over at Evic. It's going to run you $54. It comes in black, tan, and OD. I've got the OD version here. And very cool, very unique pack. Um, if you've seen the sling packs before, you can tell right here, just one strap that comes across your chest. And I'll show you what it looks like, all the different pockets and everything. But I'll tell you right now that um, when I throw this guy on, you know, on, uh, I got some gear in it, whatever it is, it just sits really nicely on my person. So um, comfortable. I don't mind a pack that has two straps, but this is a unique way to do it. And one thing that is really cool about your average sling pack, um, and this one in particular, is that you can just throw it around like this. And now I can get into all the different pockets without having to. You know, if you have a two strap pack, you got to take it off and then put it down and get into it. But this one, throw it around the side like this. Now I can access things. Uh, one of the first things I'll tell you is that over here, you've got a hidden pocket inside. So if I sling this around, I can get into this hidden pocket and whatever I want to carry in that pocket is easily accessible. All right, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, you know, I'll walk around with it a little bit, but let me take it off, put it down on the table and give you some up close and personal information about it. Let's go through some of the details on this. As you can see, you've got a uh, space here with uh, room for a patch. So I got my gear locker patch. Shout out to my buddy Eric over there at the gear locker. Molly webbing here on the back of the pack so you can attach lots of different things. You also have some molly webbing on the side and on this side as well. Uh, up on the top, you can see you do have this uh, buckle so you can cinch it down. When you do open that up and get it out of the way, you've got a strap here. It does have a removable padded um, handle portion there. So nice and easy to grab a hold of that guy. One other thing I'll show you here on the top section if I can get it undone is this little opening so you can put a hydration bladder in and then run your tube out from there. So putting it down like this, you can see you got a lot of zippers and a lot of space. So when you open this up inside in this back section, you have a mesh uh, internal section. I've actually got a pair of gloves that I threw in there. And then down in this main compartment, it's a little hard to see because the zippers don't go all the way down, but you do have another mesh section space for pens, and then a lot of different pockets, and then you've got uh, something to retain keys if you want to do that. Close this up, look in the larger pocket. Lots of storage space here. Again, storage on the back portion with a zipper. Two pockets here and a large pocket up top. Now we're only two uh, sections in, we already have uh, plenty of space. I'll go to the main compartment now, which is here. Sorry for bumping the camera there. As you can see inside, molly webbing to attach lots of things. You've got a clip here and Velcro up top here. One there, one on this side. So you can run your hydration bladder, attach it, and then it's got Velcro down here on the bottom as well to keep your hydration bladder uh, nice and safe, not moving around. Obviously plenty of storage here, and then more storage on this portion as well with zippers to get into this mesh pocket. You're talking about 1600 cubic inches, um, so lots of space for whatever you need to store. Flipping it around to the back side, you've got your, um, your sling strap, got a D-ring here if you want to attach something. Padding on the other side, so that's comfortable. Clip here for QD if you want to get in and out of it very quickly. And then um, one thing I'll note is they do have the option to, I'll show you where it is here. If you want to have the sling and then also attach your clip um, so it's more, more retained around your waist, you can do that as well. So another additional feature, depending on how you want to run it, there's lots of uh, different ways you can do it. And then you can see here, lots of padding on the back. It's got good ventilation for airflow to keep you a little bit cool. And then on the sides here, you do have these uh, clips to keep it nice and compressed. But you can also run some things down both sides of the pack as well. The question I always ask when it comes to gear is, does it function well and what am I paying in relation to that function? So if you spend a, a lot of money and it kind of works pretty well, then I say that's not a good investment. If you spend a tiny amount of money but it also breaks, well then that's not a good investment as well. Some of the things I really like from Condor 
um, fit right in the middle of there. It's not a ton of money, but they function really well. This pack, very comfortable, as you see tons of space. So this is great if you're going to an airsoft op, you can throw in all your, uh, all your ammo, all your mags, all your um, green gas, whatever you might need, lunch, you can throw some boots in here, throw your BDU, everything can fit in this pack. Um, it'll hold tons and tons of things. And uh, if you want to actually use it during an op, you can do that as well. So if you want to go lightweight, you could throw a bunch of stuff in here, not wear a chest rig or something like that, and then just keep all your extra mags and things in the bag. So lots of options when it comes to this sling pack from uh, Condor. Check it out over Evic. The link is down below. This guy definitely gets a thumbs up from CQB Radio. As always, thanks for checking out the review, guys. We'll see you soon.